Thought we were going to get seven dry days in a row, but we didn't. We only got six because it rained last night. We had, well, rained yesterday afternoon, 2.7 mil between six o'clock and seven o'clock this morning. So, puddles back on the yard and damp fields. But, amazing blue skies, bright sunshine. We'll dry off by the afternoon, perhaps. I'm going to shoot up to Brookhouse now and move about hay. And I've had my haircut. Because it's Clara's first birthday today. Just put the hay around. Just going to move this dead branch that was hanging out of a tree. I've just managed to poke it out before it blows out. Got a hen party at Brookhouse. They look to be feeding the horses at the moment at the back. Oh no, I've left the bucket in the way, haven't I? I was going to put this on the, on the rubbish pile. But I dropped the bucket off because we keep a spike up here and then now I've ended up with the bucket in the way. Oh! I have a feeling every 27th of October for the next 18 to 21 years, I'm going to be brushing leaves up, aren't I? We've had this on the yard, I don't know, 18 months now. It's not done masses of hours. I think, has it done 190? But it's still... So, someone do the maths. Four, three hours... A week maybe just tidying up we've nearly worn the brush out so had a few incidents with rsjs with a uh, pro op uh, unskilled operators but it's just been so handy we're always brushing grain or chip or something spilt i don't know how we do without it now obviously it's horses for courses like this it's a totally different beast and you wouldn't think of going drilling with that but equally, you wouldn't brush the yard with that because it's just far too big. But, yeah, I'm made up with how this works. It just, you see it in the videos, but we never never, never really pay it any, any compliments. But other than an oil seal going, it's been absolutely bomb-proof. Probably getting ready for a service now, actually, as well. I think, <laughs> I think the service is due at 250 hours, but we'll be getting on for 18 month old. It probably won't be a bad idea to service it this winter or certainly before Christmas. But it's on the button. You just make sure it's in neutral to start. And then... No heat, just starts up. Hydraulics are quick as well. So, that's the hand throttle. Put that in high, handbrake off. And uh, press the pedal for backwards and off we go. And that's forward. Dead similar to the, to the John Deere mower, really. Which is behind the buggy. But the nice thing about forwards and backwards on the forwards and backwards being on a pedal, you can have one hand on here operating the brush at the same time to change direction. This pile of leaves it's going to be quite heavy, rock down into basically silt. It's come off a relatively small area of the drive. Now, you've got these landing in rivers and streams all across the country, choking them up. That's what most of the silt comes from. It's all very well saying we need to change farming practices because there's silt in the rivers. It's vegetation. This is just off this half of this tree. When you've got trees lining all the rivers, then you've got grass dying and Japanese knotweed, balsam, all this kind of stuff falling in, rotting down to make basically silt. That's why you need to manage them. But for some reason, the EA thinks it's fine for them to clog up. And yeah, they could clog up and then they'd overspill and meander and move across landscapes. But when you live near them and you've got to feed people or you've got to like, live in your house next to them, it's gonna, it's never gonna work, is it? This door. Anyway, I'll get the, the dust pan on now. I've got the brush. That's better now. I reckon there's a couple of hundred kilos of leaves in there, which like I say, chokes up the river system. I think we're one week on from fitting these steps. I've still not painted them. 
working really well. My dad's happy. Someone suggested using a roller chain now, and that would have meant it would do that, but it wouldn't slide underneath. Um, my dad doesn't seem to mind it sliding underneath, and when you use it, it's fine. But to be fair, anyone able-bodied really just uses that step anyway. But yeah, it works well. It looks looks proper with the with the grip in it from the combine front feeder house. Just get a rattle can and spray it green, perhaps. Just thought I'd do a little before the kids party, basically. Um, I'm gonna turn my phone off. I just thought I'd do a little bit of review of the wood chipper. Have we had it about two months now? Time's gone really quick. I'm just going to show you some of the little things that we found with it, what we like and what we don't like. First of all, if you notice, we've took the rear lights off. Um, a branch fell on the snap one, concrete block fell over and snapped another one. And we thought, well, it doesn't go on the road, it lives in the yard. If we wanted to put it on the road, we could put the bumper back on. It's only four bolts and a plug. Or we can just put a magnetic set of lights on it for when we do need to take it down the road. It's also got this on as well, put a tow bar if we needed it. But again, we haven't needed to do that. If we ever did any hedge coppicing, which is where you chop a hedge down and let it regrow, we would put a draw bar on the back then. And then you just drive along with the tractor, feed it with the digger and and um, tow one of them trailers and chip straight into it. And then it just saves a man. Uh, a few things, had a few issues. We had something come off in here, the wear plate that was bolted on there. We're running it without them now. We're going to hard ox it because we didn't feel it was strong enough. Fine for wood, but if you get a contaminant, it sheared the bolts and it damaged the fan housing. So they did actually replace that under warranty. We had a metal bar come through, which poked up here. That's what this dent is. Again, that wasn't the best. And that damaged the counter knife, which is the quiz question the other day that I showed you. I'll try and show you a picture of it here now, if I can find it. Uh, we, when it arrived, it didn't have the right electric supply. So we've made it fit on an isobus plug, which is this cable now. That seems to work well. And it means that we can swap it between tractors very easily. The PTO does run on quite a sharp angle. It's not, it doesn't affect it, but I just prefer it if it was a bit flatter, but I can see why they've done it. Just to get the, all that nice with the chassis. It's got a steering axle on it, which we don't really need because it never goes off the road. The toolbox is good. Um, the drive belts are in here, so simple. I have no issues at all with anything in here, to be fair. Uh, you've got a shear bolted counter knife. That has never gone, the shear bolts, even though we've put some big chunks of metal in, because it's normally shredded the metal up. This auger in here, we did jam one day as well. We didn't know it was there. And if we'd have known it was there, we could have reversed it and then put it forwards. But that's just learning, because the people that sell them in the UK now are new to the job. New, new importers they didn't know and we didn't know yeah so we've learned a bit there the shut that up yeah the counter knife we've had we, yeah yeah sorry the blades that was what i was going to say so the blades um oh in fact they're here so we've got some spare blades in here no we haven't right i'll go i'll go and find you the blades in a minute that got cracked um, when the valve was set wrong and they were setting it up. They just sheared a little bit here, so they've replaced that for us. Mud guards are all fine. The aerial, uh, we've knocked that off. We're gonna move that to the side, but it hasn't been yet. Um, we've had a couple of times we've blocked the spout, just on some, some of this kind of wet, claggy stuff, but it's just learning to not put all that through. If you put in some of that through, put some log through at the same time. The other chipper used to block the back conveyor as well. This has done it less and um, it's a little bit quicker to unblock, but it's just learning how to feed it correctly. So Dave's getting the hang of that now. It's quite a pile here now at the moment because we didn't chip a lot this week. We were getting ready for that tyre demo day, but he'll do some chipping Monday, Tuesday probably. We'll get the pile a bit bigger again and get this pile a little bit smaller. We'll go and find the blades. Hopefully... I've got someone to come and fit the windows in there as well. Um, Richard's hurt his ankle, so he's a little bit out of action, but if we get the windows in, we can get it weatherproof before the wet, cold, damp weather comes. And then if it is wet and cold, damp weather, if we've got no maintenance to do on the boiler, we can go in there, stick the heater on, and uh, do some painting or put some plasterboard or, you know, that kind of stuff really. So a winter project as well as the 1690, putting that back together. 
Uh, right, we're going to find the chipper blades. Yeah, these are the chipper blades. This one's had a massive knock and it's been sharpened, but it doesn't have to be sharpened past that because it is still sharp. The rest of them, they're all fine. Anyway, a company called Lancashire Saw Blades has been doing it for us. And I think, I think some have been eight quid and some have been 12 quid to sharpen, which is, which is amazing. And you can sharpen them a good few times. So it means that the, uh, the, the, the wear has been greatly reduced. It's silicon. <laughs> this is the fan we use for making the world's biggest loaf of bread. I thought it'd melt inside, but it's not. It's silicon from when we made it. So that fan um, had, was it 160 degrees air flowing through it last year? That's in June and it was fine. Right, jewelry picker has been left in here. I'm going to put this. We've not put any flags up for ages. So we've got obviously all these flags around here. The John Deere one has failed and fell down, as has the cat one. So um, I'll maybe put some cable ties around them and put them up. The cable ties have just snapped and I'll put that Alliance one up. So if anyone's got any ideas of any other flags we should have in here. It used to be a bit of a thing the other year. I used to try and put a, put a flag up once a month. Um, some of them have got quite grubby. Just collecting them. But yeah, I'll start one along there. That's all the Alliance paraphernalia for when we did the tyre open day. So we may as well put an Alliance flag along it. Ian and Oscar set to yesterday, tidying up a bit more in here after I went. So they've moved this welding bench over there. Been clearing up underneath. Now I can't find a hammer anywhere. Um, don't know who put the anvil on top of that log. Obviously, someone's showing off a show of strength, but it's a bit dangerous, so we'll lift that down, I think. <coughs> At least if I put this flag along here, you won't see the bow in the plywood. The plywood was bowing before we put the weight on. It is like inch thick ply, but it's never going to break. There's not a lot of weight on there at all but I'll put this along the front and it'll just make it look a bit tidier. Someone also commented yesterday, them telly's going to fall down. I don't think so. There's no wind in here. They're lent up. They're on the top of them pipes. Um, yeah, I don't think they're going to fall anywhere at all. But equally, when we finish that shed that we're going to put the windows in, they're going back in there on the wall. So they're only up here, hopefully, for a month or so. That's up now, but it... One of them ones that's supposed to go, like, on a bend, not like a fishing rod, in. Not the squarest. I get some cable ties and sort this cat and John Deere flag out anyway. How random is this? This John Deere flag that fell off and was dangling off that light, and then on the top of it is an Allen key. So someone must have been using an Allen key, and it's like, I don't know, flown itself up here, literally on top of that light. How bizarre. Or a bird's moved it. That is a complete mystery how that ended up up there. Anyway, I fixed that. It was actually the John Deere flag itself, the string that it came with. It just mustn't have liked the heat of them pipes. So it just turned to dust and fell down. Um, and then I think cable tied, snapped them that cat one. I think it got caught up in some steel one day. There you go. Looks a little bit smarter in here now. We want to get it ready because it's day 16, 90 next week. We want to start getting that back together. Clear all this stuff out, get the shed empty because when it's, when it's tracks are on time, we've got to get the tractors in here, leave them overnight so the paint warms up so we can put the sticky bobs on them. Ready for putting the lights on. People keep asking, fingers crossed, 22nd of December. Oh, did anyone notice as well? I just have a little white thing by my eye. Anyway, I got a thing off Amazon and I heated it up so it was sterile and I just like picked at it and I've got rid of that like white calcium deposit, whatever, I had by my eye. Had it for about 10 years, it's gone now. So I think I look different, don't I? Right, I'm gonna do the birthdays. One important one today, and one I missed yesterday. Right, I'll try and make this brief because I know people fast forward it. Kieran Hickey is 52. Charlie Blair is on here. Samuel Scott, wedding anniversary. Happy wedding anniversary. Jessica Tompkins is 34. Someone's put Clara on. Helen and Rose has put Clara on. So happy first birthday, Clara. Pacey Clifton is 27. Liam Webb, sorry Liam, I forgot yesterday, but you're one, or you were yesterday, and obviously uh, Clara Harrison, big one, I put her on myself, so it's Clara's birthday today, exactly a year since she was born. And did, they, did they say Ross Carrybridge? He's on there, he's 28, so happy birthday everyone on there. Now anyone that's fast forwarded the birthday bumper won't know that I'm not talking about the birthday bumper anymore. So if you've not forwarded the birthday bumper, 
put a number one in it. If you have forwarded the birthday bumper, you have heard that, so you'll not know to do it, but it'll give me an idea of how many people fast forward the birthday bumper, which is a shame, because it's well over 80,000 now, we're for the Northwest Air Ambulance. Now I'm waffling, I'm gonna end the video, jump in the shower, get changed. We've got some people coming around, to celebrate Clara's birthday. I know it's a Sunday, not much work going on. Appreciate you watching it, nonetheless. Um, don't forget, check out The Real Country File, that's out now, I'll put the link below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we're actually farming. James is getting the leaves ready off the garden. You're not going to get dressed. He's a bit tidying up as well. Eh, uh, off. That's not for you. Come on.